to throw this legs again. Ooh. Hi, Joe. Jody Hi, Kiki. Joined. Kiki has joined. Eight Wonders Decor. Wow, I've never seen you here before. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Load you up. <laughs> Load you up. Wow, Trey. And if I have, you have, if you've been here, you haven't been this timely. How I push this? This up. is early crew, you know. Early crew, early crew. We mingle here and talk about early crew business before we give the greeting. Oh, hold on. I'm just mm -hmm. raising this up a little bit. Oh. Right. <laughs> Jammy jams. <laughs> Never leave that. No. Jammy Jam. Sorry. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky, where we take your mind off of what's going on outside the closet and bring you in here for a full hour of fun, frolic, and foolishness. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. How's the tumbler, Tracy? <laughs> oy, oy, oy. My tumbler? Yeah. That's Stevie Broke? That's not, that's not, see, well, it's not that bad. Loving the outfits. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, you for the lovely um, uh, compliments. Yes, love it, yes, love yes. it, love it. Today we have um, our mixes from Lady B. This is Grapefruit Rosemary Delight. That's my favorite. And so I will be having it. Tracy? What? That's not fair. Alright, and I will be having the spi spiny. spiny. The spicy pineapple cilantro. Actually, I like that. You can have that. Wow. Welcome to everybody who's watching from the USA, from Trinidad, from everywhere. And Whoa. we are so excited. We can't stop talking about carnival in TNT. Sweet, sweet TNT. Because oh, we're going we down there the country. shortly. So we're going down next week, Friday, the 17th. We're going down on Friday. Um, but we are sad to say that there will be no show next week, Tuesday. I have to be doing my VPP PTA duties um, for Valentine's Day at Levi's School. So let's cover lots of things today. Let's have a lot of fun. And then, you know, it's on the break. We're going to miss it. And I will come back and we'll tell you all the exciting Right, that's things. our last show till the end of February, till February 28th. So we can do a show on the 27th. On the 27th. We can do a show on the 27th, but you know, let's let's charge Maybe the camera, Tracy, mm -hmm. and let's let's do a vlog in Trinidad. I have the little All right, we can go live on the road, Tuesday on the road. Tuesday on the road? We can, oh, we can, we can say hi. We can say hi. We can say hi. We can say hi. At 1.30? Whoa. Maybe we'll be at lunch, you never know. Tracy, whoa, that's... that's you whoa. never know. So just from now on, I like to apologize for anything I'm going to say. And um, I didn't mean it. <laughs> and um, it was the liquor. The, the liquor, liquor concomitant. concomitant. <laughs> All right. Oh. So we'll try and go live Tuesday in Trinidad. But um, next week there'll be no show because, you know, we've got to do some mommy duties around here. So, guys, speaking of mommy duties, as a mom, as a parent, sorry, as a parent, mm -hmm. what, what do you plan on doing for your kids for Valentine's Day if you plan oh. on doing anything at all? I, I honestly, I hate all of these special days. All it does is cost money and time. Like, just let's stick to the routine. Like, oh, gosh, it's so annoying. Now I have to go plan for the husband and the child for Valentine's Day. You're only supposed to be a Grinch at Christmas, Tracy. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> My word. Like, I think it's about, you know, taking the time to appreciate. You know what I mean? So... Basically, I just, I wouldn't mind like my favorite chocolates from Sean and a nice card and just take a little longer to, you know, read the card. That's all. Um, but I did, um, I did think that, you know, for the kids, because I'm doing something for their school, I was like, okay, let me do something a little bit special. So I bought them two little trinkets. So when they come downstairs for breakfast, it's a little pen with a heart on the top. Very silly. I got it at the cash register. Just to be like, hey, mommy loves you. Daddy loves you. Happy Valentine's Day. But that's, that's about it. And then at Levi's school, he'll see me for most of the day as I'll be doing something. We're doing chocolate covered strawberries to together. I like that. Stevie likes dates dipped in peanut butter. I like that. Um, the Jump Off LA, it's a Hallmark holiday. Celebrate love every day. I like that. I like that a lot. And I haven't seen you on the on the live before. Welcome. Um, it's a Hallmark holiday. Yeah, I agree. The Jump of Love? 
The jump of la? Tracy, start off, Ellie. That's not an off. Off la. The jump of la. Okay, Trey. <laughs> <laughs> How much have you had to drink? Apparently too much. So just Don't sip some of this. <laughs> just a little token, but I do agree. We do celebrate love every day. You know, it's not the only day of the year that I give my kids a little token, even though they're so naughty and they don't deserve shit. They're but anyway. So, anyway, Remy told me she doesn't want to live with you anymore. She's coming to live with me. Take her. Take her. She's yours. Take her. And take all her junk and bang her No, up. no, no. Take her two nightlights. so much junk. You, why don't you stop buying shit for this child? Tracy, I don't. And you know what she asked for this morning? So don't you guys remember? so much junk. She had like the little pink princess couch that my mom bought her for her first birthday. And mommy also bought a red one for Levi for his first birthday. I've been dying to get rid of them. So I moved them out to the garage, hide them in the cupboard. After a couple of months, moved them out and, and um, threw them away. Here she yesterday. Mommy, with my pink couch. You know the one I lie down on every day? <laughs> I'm like, no, Remy, it's 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 not here anymore. Because I don't want to say, oh, I'm throwing it away or giving it away because she'll get upset. Oh. But Jody, you're going to have to take Stevie. I could definitely do a switch. Do you know that Stevie won't talk to me in the mornings? So we carpool, right? So Tracy comes in the morning with Stevie to take Remy. And as I bust the door, Stevie starts, no! No, Jody, no! I'm cussing me off. So she will not speak to me in the mornings, but it's okay because when I pick up from school, Key? Mm -hmm. It's not in the car? Mm -hmm. When I pick up from school, she comes running to me. So I don't know, maybe she just thinks that you're going to try tea for her or something like oh, that. Sorry, I sorry. don't know. Oh, sorry. So anyway, yeah, Remy is a vibe. Remy is very cute. She told me this morning that she doesn't want to live with her mommy anymore and she wants to come and live with me. And I was like, I'll take you. <laughs> she can snuggle up right between right between me and Stevie. <laughs> Did she want to turn off the lights on me? Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, she woke up again last night to come and uh what did she say? Um, what did she say? Mommy, I need a hug. I was like, not at eleven o'clock. So then you know, Sean, Jody, just hug her and the man, just hug her. So I was like, come for your hug, Remy, but you have to go back to your bed. Mommy's going to sleep now. I'm so glad she never walked in the room about 20 minutes before, you see. Watch her. We were watching a movie. She would have disturbed. Okay, okay. Talking about watching movies, sometimes life in 2023 seems like a movie, a very horrible movie. And I just want to take this moment for everybody to just pray for Turkey. Honestly, I have not been able to look too much at the media and see what's happening all i know is that the it's, death toll is really it's, high it's terrible it's absolutely terrible and just take your time out to pray for turkey and our sisters and brothers over there um shout out to our fans who usually come on here yeah, from, from turkey. turkey yeah we yeah. usually have a few watchers from turkey so we just want you guys to know that we are thinking of you in this time it's it's so sad it's really really horrible um, and just for us again to be grateful and appreciative for the time that we have with family and friends. So just taking um, let's taking a time to recognize. Whee. So okay. back to carnival talk, okay? So if you want, you can go and check out Jody's video. I'm gonna post it right here for the YouTube watchers to see. And um, it is her 2020 Trinidad Carnival packing video. So this video is very, very concise and very, very um, expansive. Funny. Very what? Concise and expansive. Exp it's very <laughs> expansive. So I was going to pack another video today. Or maybe, you know what, maybe what I could do right now, maybe we could pack with everybody on the live. Because I was thinking, I was like, what can I do to top that 2020 video of packing? It was funny. I had a stand. Where is the raw standard? And I showed oh, you guys yeah. like little tips and tricks that I had. Um, but I mean, my packing video for this year would not have really gone any differently. Um, and then I, I would have had to... Oh, I know. I also want to tell you guys that when Stevie sees a truck on the road, she says, Mommy, big, bad truck. And I'm like, big, bad truck on the road. I have told her, truck man, blow your horn. No. She goes, bop, bop. We do it in the car till my voice hurts. You and Stevie? Yes, all well, Remy's in the car too, but yesterday I had all three kids. So I was like, truck man, truck man, blow your horn. And Stevie goes, ah, she goes crazy. She goes wild. <laughs> and Remy was tired. So see Remy in her car seat. 
And Levi was like, baby, um, Stevie, Stevie, tickle, tickle. It was actually funny. It was like, the three of them were doing three completely different things. <laughs> Stevie's such a vibe. Such a, I feel so sorry for her. She's going to be coming to parties with us, like, from she's 10. Ah, oh, thank you, Bike World, um, JA. Is that bicycles? Um, Sean bros broke his bicycle and I would love... Oh, I could fix it for him for Valentine's Day. you both still so beautiful, timeless. Actually, that would be really nice if I could pick Sean's bicycle for Valentine's Day. So Sean likes to ride his bicycle. He has um. He rides it through the shop. And when, when he sees that big red light, he knows it's time to stop. <laughs> it's a handmade by card. Card made by Nana. Original. Nursery rhyme. Mm -hmm. Right. I'd like to fix his bicycle. I think that would be so nice. I mean, I just wipe it off and clean mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me just wipe it down. Um, it's Johnny Amar. Oh, hi. What's up? Oh, hey. Big Johnny. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Finally so, got Ellie, it. Oh. let me just write that down. Bike world to fix his bike. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, anyway. Um, the other day, there was a news report out that Andrew Holness said he was going to send some police down to Haiti to help out with Haiti. We have extra. That's what I was saying. We have extra. I don't know. We have I don't extra. Even know. I don't even know. Did you guys see that report? That news report? And I was like, eh, maybe the police could just stay here and help out here. You, you know, know like, like, uh, uh, you know, you can only no. give out panty when you have extra for wear. You know, so, <laughs> come on. Yeah. I, every day I think to myself, how am I seeing all of this foolishness happening on the road and the police don't see it and ticket them? Like, how come it's just me that's here seeing this? You know, I mean. In Cuba, when you go down there, there's a police at every stop. Every corner. You know? oh, police or soldiers. I think it was soldiers. With Somebody in them. uniform. Somebody yeah. in uniform. Yeah. The nurse, mm -hmm. doctors and teachers too. <laughs> I mean, do we have enough though? No, no we, we don't. don't have enough soldiers. There's a shortage we of need, soldiers too. We need to too. keep them here. They look so good in there. You ever see a Jamaican so Ooh. What? Mm. Girl! When they were doing no do you have anything on you? You want to check? I know. I may have something. <laughs> Me. Pat down. They are so, so good cute. looking. Yeah, hey, soldier man, give trouble, you know? Soldier man, give bear trouble. You never go over there, dream yet. Soldier man, give bear trouble. Can't they, stay there. They look good in their uniform. That's all I want to say. I wonder, I wonder if I could get a uniform for Scott. Imagine what light like keeps going on and off. That's why, that's why Remy is afraid to sleep in her room by herself because monsters in my bed. Go to your bed. Sure. Listen. Listen. This is just a Tuesday. I remember every Tuesday there was construction going on at your house for like about seven years. Boy. The boy. house still and by the way, the house still don't finish bill yet. <laughs> it's just like, let's just get that. Because every time you like when you have a whole when like, you're renting I've you never own, been I've never something. been downstairs of Jody's house. Like legit. There's a whole downstairs area. Oh, downstairs. That downstairs is not finished. And I've never been down there because it's not finished. Mm. Like never been down there. Sorry, you know, yeah. And and we're gonna start construction down there soon. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Okay. What what do we really want to do? We wanted to pack a little bit? We can pack. We can pack, you can show me right. what you're packing. Let me show you guys what I'm packing. You know, Jodie Jody likes to pack. This is her thing. So I just hope she packs shit for me because honestly, I'm not good at packing. Not into this. But I'm going to have to start packing early just because like, I don't want to be at the last moment. Okay. So one thing that I have to pack with me when I travel, it doesn't matter where I'm going to or how long I'm going for, I always pack a laundry bag. So when you take off your stinking clothes, there's keep they're separated from everything else. I have that too. And what you can do too is you can Nana just drop a, a dryer bag. sheet in here, and so your stinking dirty panty them can stay separate from the clean panties. Mm -hmm. So you have um, you have a laundry bag. Um, I've traveled with these before, but I've never used them. Um, I bought this because I just thought I'd need it. So this is Luxury Essentials Face, Hand and Bath Towel. Is your outfit from Amazon? No, this is from... Mine is still. Some... I can't remember. Amazon. Jody got in the YouTube voice. So this one here is just travel towels, travel wash rags. Um, I'm staying at a, I don't use the company Airbnb, I've heard too many horror stories, so I use their real estate agent, but I'm not sure like where I'm going to, I don't know how the, stow, tow, the stowels will stay, so I just travel with my own towel, my own hand towel, and my own um, bath towel. So we'll see, this is always something good to travel with, and because you don't know how many people have wiped their chuchu in that same towel, you're about to wipe your chuchu in, or wipe your face in, you know? 
You know when you wipe your face and you smell like a stinky smell? Well, you know, <laughs> if you use the towels at that last place you told me to come and stay in Miami. Oh, yeah, yeah, girl. Like, and we're still I don't know alive. how we didn't get, like, body corona or, like, oh. I need to go and get some, um, Iry Rock. Glycolic acid toner when I leave. You need acid after the last place. Actually, don't you have you don't you still use any glycolic acid? No, you can't have that oh, one. Oh thank you, then I don't need to go. So this one here is That's a how you beg nice sewing way. kit. Well, like my fixing kit. So when I go especially to a carnival, I always have this kit. Um and here's what I have in it. So this could be helpful to you. I've taken some of the pillowcases good too. That's true. Um so some of these tips I've gotten from Carnival Bay. She has a, um, an Instagram page and she'll give you tips on what to pack and how to pack and what you'll need. And I found it extremely helpful. I've saved them and as I'm packing, I go through. So I always take some little gems and crystals because when I go, if I need to fix my costume, if something has dropped off or I need for my costume to tie in with my shoes. So mm -hmm. for example, my costume this year um, has very slight royal purple in it. And I mean, no why, but me buy royal purple shoes. And just to tie the shoes in. The costume with, is pink. Yeah. FYI, the costume is like fully pink. I, just to tie the shoes in, I bought um, some purple stones and some purple feathers and of course a purple fan. For me too. Goody cannot sweat. Did you have a me? Yes, Tracy. But you get a lilac one because these are these are um, old stuff. So you know. Mm. And then worse when you're chipping down the road and you know you just get real nice. You're going to need some glue for your crystals and your gems. You're going to need um, needles. You're going to need thread. Um, I didn't have purple, so I just took two different colors. You're also going to need a glue gun. My Oh, some more crystals. The Monday wear that I'm planning on wearing, this is some of the jewels and crystals from that Monday wear, if it works out. The Monday wear that I do not trust. So, <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, in Trinidad, sizes differ. A small girl is not really a small girl in real life. A small girl is like a extra small girl. So you'll order... You tried this on? Yes. You, you jumped around in it? Yes, it's a phone. Okay. So I ordered a me For the first time, I ordered a medium bikini bottom. Because the bamsi can around, eh? And so I wasn't sure. So I said, okay, let me get my own bikini bottom. And nowadays, they have this style where they tie the bikini around your neck. I love it. I love it. I just love it. But that's not, how it look, that, that's not how it looks. Then goes. it will tie. It's fine. I have my needle and my thread and stuff and I'll tie it into the side of the thing. But hopefully my bikini bottom for the swim, for the costume will um will fit. And if not, I do have a backup. So every time we go to Trinidad, we always make our own bikini bottoms and we take them with us just because the fit has always been so... Shut up, Tracy. I disagree with what I'm saying. Has always been so off. So we always take our own bikini bottoms. Shut up, Tracy, I agree with what I'm saying. We sure do. Absolutely. A sharp pair of scissors. A pliers. And random, but this is necessary. So this little... This key ring here is so that when we go and we get our house keys, I'll put my house keys on here and then I can actually, instead of just putting it in my bag, I can clip it to the strap of my bag, mm. clip it to my jeans, my pants mm. waist or something um, because this is, mm -hmm. I think this is very necessary to take, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Extra glue sticks, I only have one, I need to buy more. Mm -hmm. And some little clamps in case I glue stuff. And then, guys, very importantly as well, just some extra straps. Mm -hmm. So I cut just from, um, what do you call it? Not, not strawberries. Spandex. But spandex. To tie on your headpiece, to tie on your backpack. We don't have a headpiece, do we? You know, I don't know. But to tie your backpack, to tie your boots, just extra spandex. This is freaking me out right now that this is all over the place. But all right, I'm going to pack this back later. So that's what's in my, my fix it bag because everybody who stays in the house with me, they always, oh, Jody, can you fix it? This is not fitting. Let's take a sip. I wish I could take Lady B with me. Oh, we have like a small headpiece. I never wear the oh, headpiece. I would I definitely be wearing that. That's nice. The headpiece, it's very, very, very nice. But the headpieces always give me a headache. But so in Trinidad, I wear my full costume. I don't take it off. As a matter of fact, ever since 2019, when I wore the big red costume, I keep my headpiece on. Because I was like, I can it do it. It gives me a headache. I mean, even when I tried on that headpiece in the... um. 
Gen X showroom for all of five seconds. I was like, oh, I can't wait to take it off. Headache. Trini Customs must be used to all these random things in suitcases. I don't think there's anything that I have here that is illegal or they'll take from my like, scissors. I'm I'm checking my luggage. I'm checking my luggage. So, but um, would you like me to continue with what I take with me on the road? No. I take my two long hands because exactly because you know I pack everything. <laughs> Let's get the backpack. I just got my two long hands because let me tell you something. Jody goes on the road to like primps. By the way, I disappear for like a bad hour and come back and I'm like literally sweating from it. So I've made new friends <laughs> who always turn into lifelong friends. I enjoy. I made this friend. I made a friend. Tenny. Tenny is a carnival friend uh -huh. that I made on the road. Mm -hmm. Tenny and he's a lifelong friend. Tenny and mm -hmm. I. We met on the road in Trinidad. Jamaican Tenny? That's why you yes, met him? Yes. Mm. I was Jody and I were jumping up on the road in Trinidad and Tenny just came over and then he was jumping up with us and he took a little wine and then him jump up, jump out, and we're like, okay, then we were like, like we're, we're moving to the bar. He was like, I'm coming. I was like, okay. I was like, what's your name? He said Tenny. He moved with us to the bar. He moved everywhere and then he, and he wasn't creepy. No, he was cool. He was super cool. And that's cool. why we're like, okay, cool. And that's that where he took us over to you, man, took us back? No, we were going over to you, man, yeah. back. And he was like, I like your girl's vibe. Can I just hang with you guys for the day? And we were like, like sure. We're, we're like, we're both married. Like, And he's like, I'm married too. I'm just here for the, for the vibe. Yeah. And we're like, all right. And, cool. like, <laughs> and Tenny, every party we went to, we found Tenny. And that was how Tenny and I, that's how we became friends. Yeah. And he was really so cool. Yeah. See, he was really helpful throughout the day because he's so big <laughs> that it was like, like <laughs> see Tenny there. <laughs> I was like, me too. Spot on. Tenny. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's, we like, um, you know, Carnival is such a, a great time to meet new people. And, you know, even though you have people who take a wine, I, I, a lot of persons don't understand our culture. Just because I take a dance on somebody does not mean me and my husband you know, are I on the rocks. I don't like it's, dancing with people. I, but I take it. a wine. I, I take a wine, wine, but I don't love I don't it. go out of my way to be like, oh, God, I catch you. I throw in waste. Well, but I don't like, think you can throw waste anyways. So. I, throw, I throw something. <laughs> I mean, if you're taking a wine at the Stuart Sisters, it's definitely a wine that's in need of some WD-40. It's nothing I ever. try. I try. That's all that matters. I mean, I'm at the gym and I do this dance class at the gym and I'm definitely stiff. The other morning, I laughed so hard at myself in the mirror that I started to cry. I was like breathless. <laughs> The whole class was like, Trey, it's okay. And I think it's okay. I think as long as you're having fun. I love my dad's class in the morning. And you know? I think that and that's the thing. The teacher just says, Trey, just keep moving. Just keep moving because you're burning calories. And I'm like, okay. And it's unbelievable how stiff I am. Everybody else is moving. All this 87-year-old lady in the class named Mrs. Barr. Don't let Mrs. Barr get down on you. And yeah. I'm like, what? And I'm just there like... But it's okay. Like, have fun and express yourself. I don't business. I'm too old to care. Because I think that if more people... I don't know about you, but... Okay. No, I mean... As I think that if words, more I think people were like, young, I want young. to dance, I want to dance, and I'm going to dance, yeah. instead of, oh God, I can't dance, yeah. what are they going to say? You know, we'd be having more fun at parties instead of, what well, I can't dance. I mean, I well, that's, a message. That's what I'm when I think I'm too old to care. Like, you know, when you were younger, 15, you might be like, oh, I don't know how to do that. I don't care. I'm yeah. going to creep, and I don't know how you to do that. You don't know when I thought I was dancer diva kiva? And I was in the middle of the dancing circle you're like Jody get back here and I'm like no log on log on yeah we are signal everything I, I was in the middle like the circle I had a place Alien in the circle jet. aliens you were signaling it you were signaling. do you remember that time when she went carnival and there was a stop in the road because trucks were passing and so I held an aerobics class and everybody followed you you were yeah. like okay everybody and she was like and they were like following her and then when it was every time they were like are you coming back tomorrow I was like why do you guys want to exercise on road my gosh I love Trinidad do you remember the time I turned into the bartender too and I was Tracy so you've been a bartender quite a few times she was like they take it long I should jump so far <laughs> what do you want you see guys this is with efficiency. You do eight cups of ice, put that what you want. Pass that. And I'm just like, can you pour my drink for me? <laughs> Nothing wrong with an innocent pelt waist. Mrs. Barr has been at In Motion for years. Jody, are you wearing skims? No, I'm not. Davina is here. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Okay, and now for my road bag. Now, Carnival Bay had suggested, which is a great suggestion, but not too much junk and bang around. She was saying to try and carry a bag or keep your bag to the front of your body where you can always look at your, you can keep track of your belongings. So she uses the hand, um, the wrist bag 
or she uses something that straps to her foot. Now Carnival Bay, you do not have a diva sister that needs a little bit of everything on the road. In fact, Carnival Bay, if I ever see you again, you're holding something for me in your little bag. <laughs> so this is my bag. I got this, I've had this for a little while now. It's just a cute little iridescent backpack. And why I chose this is the iridescent will match with most things. And if it rains, it's water resistant. So in the front, I'm just gonna keep a couple things handy. So I have hand sanitizer, which we won't need to use anything, but some mints. If you pelt in waste and you want pelt extra waste and you're not smelling so fresh, you just give them a little tiki taka and some lip gloss or lip balm. Then very important, very important sunblock. So I will have on my makeup, but I will need to reapply. So this spray setting sunblock that looks like there's spit in there. Man, did you see that? Anyway. We're going to use a little bit on I the face. <laughs> I just assumed all Jamaicans can wine. Wine and dine. We can wine. I can wine you up, but it's not to the music. Let me give you a wine. So Sean will say to me, he's like, he, Sean will hold my like, this is a beat. And I'll be going all over the place. He's like, you can't can hear that. Like wine. Hey. I can definitely, I can yeah. make my bottom cheeks jiggle. Yeah. I can wine, you know, but hey. just not to the music. Like, it looks like I'm a deaf girl in the yeah. middle of the I party. Can, yeah, I can do something. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to stand up there like this. I'm not standing up. I'm sorry. Yeah, I sound like I did the Urkel. <laughs> she made it the Urkel. <laughs> you know, it's not like yeah. Dancing is my favorite exercise. I have soap sheets. I don't know what we wash. I like at lunchtime, but at the lunch stop to wash my hands completely. Let's see what we have for Tracy. We have because she always tears off her lashes, so she needs lash, lash glue. glue. This is true. No, I don't know about y'all, eh? I don't have no shame. If I need to piss, I'm gonna piss. But if you're gonna piss, piss neatly on the people wall. You put your chucho in there, and you're pissing the funnel. <laughs> I joke, I've never used these. Oh, a Trini is in the house. So you can use your um, wee funnels here. They're mm -hmm. disposable, and you just, um, you do your thing. Relax, we've got you covered. So, and I thought this was a good size if you have a lasagna or a spaghetti. Some. That's a great idea. That's a great addition to my carnival bag. Oh my god. I'm wondering why I feel like this is tequila today. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. This is just for Tracy. Eye drops. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then we have band-aids. I'm always giving away. Do you away. still have my umbrella hat? No, Tracy. Um, reassure washcloth. This was from a goodie bag. So you have a wet wipe in case you, you know, you need it. Some gem glue, I'll definitely not be using. Listen, let me tell you something. Take some wet wipes on the road, you hear? Take some wet wipes on the road. Because when you have Zip to pee bags. behind a car and that pee run down your leg, take some wet wipes. I'm not, I'm not afraid to say it. And you know, you guys can go on like you're prim and proper and you never peed in a bush before. Double I have tea. done some things on the road. So what you do is when you... <laughs> What you do with this is you just use it and you just make it. You think I should tell it? No, 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 no highway story. story. No yeah. highway story. That's highway we story. have some sunscreen. That highway story makes you think I'm Sure, sure. Yes. Panadol, Advil. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I also have a predicament, you guys. Hair clips. So I'm going out this weekend. I don't even know if I should tell you this predicament. Bring more lash glue. Anyway, so I have my waxing appointment set for safety pin the 16th right but i'm going out this weekend and i'm wearing a sleeveless top and i don't know what i should do it's not so bad is it um is it sophia bad? not smell it, it no it smells your, your deodorant has a perfume to it yeah no but i need to, should i wax for this weekend or where are you going oh girl please come as you are jesus said it this weekend I'm coming as I am. <laughs> oh, and then I, I always have, have my, rocks my rag. Dad. Some makeup, because I will stop and put on my makeup. I don't care who's watching me. What is this? So I've been trying this out. So I saw on TikTok where the Makeup Forever HD powder went viral. And it's pretty good. I didn't use it today, but um, it What you do with it? You, you use it to like set and put on mm. top. So I thought it was good. So mm. these are the things that I have packed in my backpack for the road. And what I would do is I would just put on, put this on and then put on my backpack or vice versa. So mm -hmm. I have everything in my bag. And usually it gets a little annoying because everybody knows I have everything. So they'll be like, oh, can I get this? And they're pulling this. Don't pull on my, just lift it and get what you want. So annoying when I'm like. 
safety pins are a must and the double sided tape. This she packed seems to me that doesn't want me to get it from her this, bag. This, this is bag? She's seen to me. You can, but you, you go like this. You know, in high school when they were like digging in your bag and you're like, um, you know, it's attached to a person. How are you gonna do your hair? You know, I don't know. Mm. Well, you're lucky you have beautiful curls. So I just keep this packed like this. Stevie's gonna have curls just like Jody. <coughs> and it's so it's so hard now because they're just like not looking so cute. Every morning she looks like a I don't know, with her little afro. Speaking about TikTok, Jody stop post there. So I came up with a really cool idea for a video yesterday. But in I think Lisa is here. Lisa was like, you can't post that you're a married woman, it that not going to look good. But it was such a good idea and I was like, it's funny, but you know, sometimes you can't, some people cannot get past the fact that I posted a funny video. Instead, they're like, oh, so that's what she think about people. Oh, she want the guy then. And it's like, so I was just like, yeah, it's true. I'd probably have to like give somebody the idea, but it was super funny. But it, and I told it to Sean, he was like, huh. But again, if I post yeah, it, it's more than funny. Yeah, it's like the two pound weight that I'm lifting is doing me so good, eh? Imagine this by next yes, week. Yes, our costume has a feathered back backpack. Look yes, we're coming for Trinidad. Look at that. Oh, somebody was asking if it's, um, since you've had children, is it harder for you to hold your wee wee? No, so I haven't had that problem. But if at you first do, I did. if you do have that problem, you can go and check Ray Gafor. He's Dr. Ray Gafor, I forget his thing, and he fixes that for you. It's a very, 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 very simple, simple procedure. Surgery. Very, very simple. And Dr. Ray Gafor, he's in Jamaica, and he works out of... Um, Law, Tracy. Oh, God. All right, we're going to find he the page. Came on, he came, came on, on the show. He came on the show. And Kegels know. as well. Mm -hmm. I sit down here for an hour every Tuesday and do my Kegels. But it's a very, very simple surgery. Dr. Ray Gafor does it. I'm going... Where does he work out of? Art of Surgery. Ah, there we go, Tracy. Good job. Rip, rip, rip rip on, on, yes. Art of Surgery on Rip on Row, Dr. Ray Gafor. We will, um, <clears throat> we're going to post them in the caption. And of course, over on YouTube, we would have put up a picture of Dr. Ray. Um, so you can, um, hi, Sean Paul Turkey. We actually spoke about you a little bit earlier and, um, you're in our thoughts and our prayers. Mm -hmm. Um, who, the fine doctor. This one is fine too, you know. Oh, we only have sexy doctor on the I show. Know, oh, I know. Speaking of which, we've only had sexy doctor yeah. on the show. So speaking of which, the doctor from um, the states, yeah, he wants to come back on. Remember, we talked about vaginal rejuvenation. Yes, and we talked about yes. the word poom poom. Yeah, yeah, and he, yeah. Like, he likes using the word. He's like, "What do you call it?" We're like, "Poom poom." He's like, "Oh, poom poom." Yes. So he'd like to come back on the show. So let's look at having him back in March. Yeah. Um, so guys, DM us your questions about vaginal rejuvenation so we can ask him questions on the show, um, maybe get some kind of pictures. Last time I had a huge vagina post that I, I think um, I gave it away. <coughs> yeah, so, no. Um, thank you, Grace. So good. I'm making my favorite. So, you know, the thing is that we've had some great, great, great people on the show. We've had some great experiences here on the show and we would like to have more so you guys if you know of anyone who would like to come on the show or products that would like to be featured on the show you can always dm me tracy um tracy stew t-r-a-c-i-s-t-e-w at instagram and talk to me about it there or you can send me an email tracy stew at gmail.com and you can we can talk about the show it's actually been quite hard to get people to commit to the show and come maybe on. they think that you know we're gonna charge them a whole heap or maybe they think that i don't know you know, know sometimes i think we have small businesses and they don't really see the the value in marketing especially in influencer in influencer marketing you know we're just um, really we actually waived the fee for the whole of february and um yeah mm -hmm. You see, the thing is that if you want to come on the show, we said this last time, we do have standards, so you do have to meet our standards. So when you send the product to us and we check it out, it doesn't always mean it's going to make the cut for the show. And why do we have that? Because, you know, we don't want to be promoting something that we don't believe in. Correct. Or that we wouldn't use, eat, love. Or that kids. doesn't look a certain way. So we have gotten things before and I've had to call the people and be like, Hello. hey, you need to work on your logo, you need to work on your bottling or your presentation. Or your website. Yeah, your Instagram profile, you know, stuff like that. So it's always positive critique I give back to help everybody. Is there an email to Tuesdays with Tricky? Do you check that DM? So it's, Tracy does check the DM for Tuesdays with Tricky and the email for, the email um, for Tuesdays with Tricky is jodyjinx876 at gmail.com. 
Um, I want to do breast lift, but I'm scared of the, st the scars. Thoughts, please. Who is that? You have to jolly that J. You have so. to decide what you what you, what you want to trade up for, what you want to trade in for. So I had, I don't know how to describe them, memories like they were. My children did me dirty, very very dirty, and so I had to say to myself, do I? And to be honest with you guys, the first surgery, reconstructive surgery that I had on my breast, it was a lollipop scar, minimal scarring. But again, I did not have the lift that I wanted. I didn't have the overall look that I wanted. Mm -hmm. And while it could mm -hmm. stay, I didn't love the results. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, do I want to go now for the scar? Because it's an anchor scar. It's from here all the way to over here. Do I want the scar? Do I want to sw swap the scar for, you know... For the titidem. For the titidem. And you mm -hmm. have to decide what, what you want. And at mm -hmm. the end of the day... I wanted to titty them. Yeah, the titty them. So I go to the beach and you, you'll you see, I'll put um, sunblock. And to be honest with you, I don't care. You see it? I don't care. My costume have it? I don't care. I don't mm -hmm. care. But yeah. What do you think the scar is from? <laughs> a bite? I'm in a business. I don't care. So, a big bite. A big, <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's what you want to sacrifice. And, you know, you have to, you know, do your scar treatments in terms of your... <laughs> I prefer the scars and two long socks. <laughs> There you go. Butterfly Kingdom Boutique. <laughs> that is the truth right yep. there. Mm -hmm. Um, And I am a pro in any type of surgery that will make you, you feel better, better about and yourself. you yeah. feel more confident. Yeah. I am pro to that. All I do is I ask you guys when you're going to do your surgery, please, 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 please do your research. Make sure that the doctor is accredited and certified. Make sure the place that he's doing the surgery or she is clean and nice the cheapest is not always the best okay so just make sure because this is your body this is your body yeah so and you don't want to have to redo like if i've done my research you're spending a, the lot, first time. a lot a lot of money yeah so just do your research see if there's anybody who has done the surgery before who has done the doctor mm -hmm. don't go in there just because it's cheap and quick okay no yeah. surgery is cheap, cheap and, and quick, quick. And at the end of the day, you pay for what you get. You do. So you do. Um, we have somebody is asking about Botox. about Botox. Again, going to your um your service pro a medical spa, and check out the prices. Check out. There's so many places nowadays that do it. And Camilla yeah. Thompson Rose says, Tracy, did you ever think you would have done a boob job? Absolutely not. Until, I, until she got those mama jamas. I did not. I had such a cute little body before before childbirth my my i was at a cup but i was they were up they were firm they perked up like my, all my nipples did like a thing that they perked up they were so good i've always had a flat belly everybody has a perfect um attribute to their body some people it's their legs some people it's their arms mine is my belly i've always had a flat belly that's just my thing and i had a big bottom like everybody used to always say whoa for a white girl you have a big, big bottom, bottom. Don't know where it was on got. flyers it was on people used to come and be like oh can i take a picture and put your bottom on this flyer i loved my body loved my body i worked hard on it in the gym i love my body after i had stevie I just automatically lost 10 pounds and that 10 pounds, I used to weigh 130, that was my weight. Now I'm at 120, that is my weight. I lost 10 pounds, which I wasn't, I wasn't was sad 10 for. pounds a batty. But it was 10 pounds a batty. My batty is now flat and my breasts were like fried eggs. They were just small were, and I, sad. It was kind of, yeah, they were sad. And so when I went to go and um, do my consultation for my boobs and whatever, I checked out what doctor I wanted to use and... Um, I was very happy. I'm very happy with my results. I went to Tariq Hussein. He's Dr. Miami on Instagram. And I'm very, very, very happy with my results. I love, 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 love my boobs. Um, and you also have to be very realistic about what your results yeah. are going to be. So naturally, my breasts are sit far, far apart. apart. So when I went to Dr. Hussein, I was like, oh, can I get them put together? And he's like, no, because we're going to go under the muscles. So my breasts sit far apart. So I will never have that line of together. cleavage yeah. like that, like, you know. But I am very happy with my results. And I can't explain to you how, after having a child, I viewed myself and my beauty very differently. I was very into, like... I'm a mom now and this is where I am and I'm super happy with what I have and all of my body works. It works, I can walk, I can wave, I'm very happy. And then you know when I decided um, to go and do my boobs, 
um, and I got my breasts done, I feel like I'm back into, I want to be sexy again. Like I want to, mm -hmm. I want to present in a certain way. Like I, I even wear different things to bed. Like I was always wearing Scots for like big t-shirts. Now I want to wear like little yeah. cutesy things or, you uh -huh. know, whatever makes you, whether it be a haircut, whether it, it be, be a or lots of confidence. Whether it be plastic surgery. And, you know, I, I get it. Not everybody can afford a new set of boobs. That's whatever you can do to make yourself feel better about yourself, to make yourself feel more confident, whatever those little things that you can do. Maybe it's a little facial at home. Maybe it's a little pluck eyebrow. Mm -hmm. Even when we walk out of the hair salon, how good do you feel when your hair yeah. is done? You know, yeah. and, and, and that's something that we want to like, you know, the, the positivity in exactly. confidence. Exactly, Butterfly Kingdom Boutique. You cannot give up on yourself because of children. Yes. And I, I felt like I was at that point where I was like giving up on myself, you know. And um, <clears throat> I've said it over and over again, like child having a child was something that was very different for me. It's a very different experience. I never wanted children growing up. I was never that person who was like, rock-a-bye, baby. So for me, stepping I'm going to buy something for the child's value. Yeah. Yeah. Like for me, stepping into this role is a bit, like was very different for me. And it's been hard for me to accept the new me. But I am accepting her and... Um, I just have to do it in slowly and surely and self-care is very self important thank mm -hmm. you um floridian bird um i'm two weeks post-op still wearing surgical bra my choice it helps overall yes yeah, i love a surgical bra so bra self i i get it i still when i sleep it's, it's like my gift i'm like oh and i still put on my ugly surgical bra to go to bed <laughs> i'm like i don't want to wake up you know when you ever sleep in a marina yet? And you wake up on one breast over your one down there. I'm like, I never want that I to happen. I was like, okay. So just keep them together I while I was I to one of my girlfriends and she was like, she's seven years like post-op. Seven years. And her breasts are still touching her chin. And she was like, I sleep in mm -hmm. a, just a, um, not an underwire bra. There's no underwire. She like just sleeps training in a bra. Yeah, she yeah. sleeps in a bra. And she's like, Trace, sleep in a bra. And I'm like, well, whatever you say, I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Drew. <laughs> so whatever you can do to make you feel better about yourself and, and to ooze that confidence. You know, so sometimes this week's, when I get naked. Um, Lady B was clearly, clearly Very good. Awful. But this is my favorite. <laughs> terrible, terrible. We, we should have gotten two bags this week. Peach. I know. This was a spicy pineapple mm. cilantro. Let me taste it back um, this is what she gives me to taste. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Yeah, it tastes so good. I don't know Lady B. Lady B is on the road with my Gen X, is. everybody. Lady B is on the road. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> let's, let's just call, what do you call? Fast ambulance, call 1-800 on digital care. Hi, at um 1.30 on um Waterloo Road, you may need to pick up a Revlon. I know, right? Jeez, um, oh. oh, gosh. Ooh. So good, so good, so good, so good. Um, love this. So important for us as moms to remember to still love ourselves. You are still you. You are still a person. You still deserve love, attention, and all those things. You cannot pour from a cup that is half full or empty. You need to look after yourself. And I'm not saying ditch your kid, even though it's great when you can. Sometimes. sometimes yeah. Sometimes ditch you know, your kid. but <laughs> I try, and, and this is important. I know Sean hates when I say this, but schedule, schedule, schedule. We have a schedule here in this house. And when we abide by it, it means that in the evening, I get two to three hours of me time. I, sh I share with Sean a little bit. Oh my gosh, moving. I wanted to say this. So this week, right, I was looking like hell yesterday. Like, honestly, I look like hell. I was wearing <coughs> house clothes and I was like, whatever. I was running late for everything. So I went to the supermarket in my little yard clothes and whatever. And I saw a lady and she was just like, she walks up to me and she goes, can't wait for tomorrow. So I was like, what's happening tomorrow? <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> I was like, come. Sorry, tomorrow. And I'm looking at her in the face and I'm like, oh my God, do I know this lady? Is she a mother from school? I couldn't hear enough. Tuesdays is tricky. And I was like, oh. And then I went to go to buy um, an outfit to wear down in Trinidad. And when I was there down in the store, I opened the door and the lady was like, can't wait for your show tomorrow. And I'm like, you watch? She was like, yes, Tricky. And I was like, oh, thank thanks, you. guys. We really appreciate the little shout outs and the stuff. And it's so funny because I went to pay a bill for Levi's birthday yesterday. He's like, you know I what? I'm such a fan. I was like, stop it, you're a friend. And she goes, you're inspiring. I said, me. <laughs> <laughs> Georgette is asking, she's turning 50. Is it a good idea for her, for her to come and play carnival in Jamaica? Georgette, just stop yourself a second. 
You don't need to mention your age. What the age have nothing to do? Your age have nothing to do with nothing. Would you like to come and play carnival in Jamaica? You should. And but guess what? Age. Even if you can't walk, people will push, push a wheelchair on the road. And guess what? I, I will push a wheelchair. No, and I will also <laughs> ask you if I can take a little ride. <laughs> so they will push you. Just sit down in the wheelchair. I'm, I'm the definitely going to go People will push I you. I will push you. I'll be behind. Like, okay, we'll be offering him, but I'll be like, eh, eh. You don't, even have, you don't even have to bring a friend to push you. Just yeah, sit down like, in your wheelchair and, and you'll find your way to the end. <laughs> push you. So, come. Come and play mm. mass. It is have amazing. Fun. It's I amazing. don't think Georgia is in a wheelchair, though. No, but I was just That's saying. Oh, no, I don't okay, think Georgia okay, okay, is okay, in okay, a wheelchair okay. either. Okay. And the thing I loved about the Gen X costume is every costume had about three oh, or four, four different options. options. So it doesn't matter how if you are fluffy or you're twiggy it doesn't matter or anything in between it does not matter there was something that fit your body and you know what i just wanted to i just want to talk to people about this for a second because right. I, I, I saw an instagram post yesterday and it was a girl and she was very slim she was skinny she wasn't slim she was skinny mm. and she came on and she was she was saying you know everybody always right. wants to talk about bigger people and talk about their bodies and you know maybe sh fat shame them or whatever and she's like you know i don't understand that or why people do that she's like because skinny people we have our trials and our tribulations too not we but she was saying this. <laughs> and she's like you know um she tried on clothes that were that were extra small that were extra extra small and nothing could fit her Really? And she, yeah, and she was Ooh, just like, and she tried on this dress and she was so like shapeless in the dress. She's like, you know, I don't, I, I can't put on weight. I guess it's because I don't eat enough. She's like, I try. And um, she's like, I'm going to the gym. And when I go there, I get shamed because people are like, why are you here? here? Yeah, yeah. And she was just saying like how hard it was for her yeah. living in the body that she's in. And she's like, you know, I just think that we all need to support each other you no don't matter. know what somebody else is struggling with well, no, you don't know what somebody else is but their shape and stuff so mm. that's another reason why i really loved genetics because they had something that was for everybody's right comfort zone in what jamaican were. shame skinny maga girls them up mm -hmm. there. that's true so you know you have to dress for what your comfort zone is so as i said genetics has three or four options within every single costume okay. which i really 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 appreciated because everyone is fighting a battle yeah i i got a costume that was moderate coverage moderate coverage jody got a costume that was no coverage i was like Zero. oh my batty hole wants some breeze eh? <laughs> <Hot hole. laughs> and on that note <laughs> So let's just remember other, you know what, other people, because, and I've learned this, people go to the gym for different reasons, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I may yeah, be going yeah. to muscle up, some people are going to lose weight, some may be going to put on Thank weight. Thank you for bringing bottom. this up. My autoimmune issue makes it very hard to put on weight. In fact, I struggle sometimes with keeping weight on since I got sick. Ooh. You just don't know, yeah. you just don't know, yeah. you just don't know. We just have to live in so love. So kindness, exactly, to just extend that, that kindness. We just have to live in love. So anyway, what's talk, happening? Talking about living in love, I've been just this today. I just had this overwhelming feeling of love towards Remy and Stevie when oh. I picked them up from school. I thought you were gonna say to Scott, as I'm like, girl, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not this week. <laughs> when I say, we're at odds this week. Not this week. He's like, uh, but yeah, I know I love their little relationship. It's really and truly like siblings because sometimes know. they'll be mean to each other. I turn around and Remy has clapped Stevie in the head. Then Stevie 10 minutes later claps her back and I'm like, yeah, you I get know. her back. I know. The other day Remy blew her nose in the morning and I threw the booger tissue at Stevie. And I was like, Remy, did you just throw the booger tissue at No. I said, Remy, did you throw the booger tissue at Stevie? No. Then Stevie says, no. Alright, I'm very excited for the carnival. 
Um, did you guys check out that Backpack Babes TT thing that we spoke about last week? Did you guys check oh, it out? Oh, to, to book your, to your book pictures your, your, and your if backpack you're a backline babe or you have like a small little <clears throat> backpack but you want to take pictures in a grand backpack to post on your Instagram, you can check out Backpack Babes. They are located at One Woodbrook. One Woodbrook. So you go in, they'll doll up your makeup for you and you take your picture in the big backpack so the picture that you post doesn't necessarily have to be the backpack that you're walking around with all day which can be a real struggle. Sh struggle. All right, please remember the vlog, guys. I'm going to actually go and charge a camera right now, and I'll take it on the road because it's, it's, not, it's not like it can't fit. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Ah, oh, Simone Denny Music, she says, have a great time on the road, ladies. I'll be there next year. Girl! I'll be there too. Say less, say less. <laughs> I'm very excited. I need to actually go and um, I'm going to finish packing. Anushka! She so says, can't wait to see you guys for carnival. Anushka, she says, yeah, for coming home. We're Anushka said, yes, Anushka, please, because you don't have a profile picture. We've been with you from the very beginning, teaching you how to pluck your eyebrows and put on lip liner. Yes. And we don't know who we're talking to. Anushka, if you don't, let me tell you something, if you don't say something to us at carnival, you know. I know. So she's like, oh, I saw you guys and I was so scared. Let's I'm meet her. It. Let's meet her. Let's meet her. Meet we don't know who you are to meet. <laughs> we'll meet you. When is meet Carnival? You. Carnival is a Monday, February 20th, and 21st is a big dress up day. Um, will you be filming for Road Ready? No, we will not be filming for Road Ready in Trinidad Carnival, but um, we'll be doing our thing, eh? We're going to take our own hopefully, camera. Film. Hopefully, we'll be filming for Road Ready next, car next Trinidad Carnival. We'll we have a whole heap of carnivals in between. But we have Don't a worry. lot of other carnivals that, that Road Ready. We'll be featuring at Jody. Will be featuring. I, I noticed you said we, and then you stopped. <laughs> you know, like to look up myself. I'm just gonna be I'm like, playing, hey, I'm here at the airport. <laughs> Sugar Plum Biz. What section? She says she's playing uh, Mass with Bliss. How long y'all staying for Carnival? We're going down Friday. We're coming up Ash Wednesday. I have to get back to town because guess what? I'm bad mumming. So Levi's birthday is actually on a Carnival Monday, and um, but. It's not like we're going to have a party on Monday anyway, so I need to get home on Ash Wednesday because we're going to have his birthday party on Saturday. And we've had the discussion of when we're going to open presents, when we're going to celebrate. He will have his class sing to him and do cookies. He has extracurricular activities till very late. Whatever, I don't feel bad. Whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Can't wait to see our footage. When is Jamaica one? That is on April 16th. And what is the process to get a costume? So you can sign up for a costume with Jamaica Carnival with Jen... X S so G E N X S Jamaica dot com and when you sign up there you can choose your costume each costume has many different many different sections you can sign up there choose well, your costume two are sold out so Luminous Lagoon Mail is so sold out yes um and there was another one the green one um sold out so log on now if you guys are thinking of playing for um jamaica carnival or carnival in jamaica on april 16th log on now to genxjamaica.com to re is registration still open yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. and Hope also you can Jen register with their for their juve and when genx gives a juve outfit so i'm excited april to get 16th. my juve outfit so genx Oh, Tracy, love a little jewelry outfit. I love it. Freeness. It's not free, you know. <laughs> Somebody had to pay for it. Oh, but I love it. I love it. Just give me a little one piece. I just cannot wait for Lady B on the road. It is going to be a full-on shit show. Oh, God. Can Drink you your imagine? water. You guys, there's also some hydration packs um, that you can get on Amazon. And what it does is you pour the hydration pack. It's a little powder. You pour it in your water. And one glass of water becomes eight. So um, I was so lucky to have a friend who had it on the road. So I was able to just hydrate because the band I was in ran out of water. So the one, the one bottle of water had to Jesus for the whole day. So. Oh, Lord. Yeah. That won't happen with Gen X, though. See you guys on the road for Jamaica. Make sure you guys come and say hi. Let's call a like a stiff wine. No, actually... My wine is not stiff. My wine is offbeat. Okay, so I get it very straight. I can tick tock with my bottom. Yo, my kids think that the word is bottom because I keep wanting to say batty wool. But I, I, I go bottom. So they, they say the word bottom so funny. <laughs> Jody, how long did it take you to grow your curly hair this length? When did you last cut it? Trace has cut my hair off on live before, you know. You don't remember that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to cut her hair up to here. And when I do that, it looks so big and full. Oh, but usually yeah. when I do that, I also color her hair dark. So we're going now to Trinidad. So it's long. 
and I, I will cut it. I will cut it. Um, after probably like after yeah, Jamaica but Carnival. No, after Jamaica, I, I want it to break this um this barricade and go longer. Mm -hmm. So, but it's it's um I also I just oiled my scalp today. I used the Jolie Flair my um, by China K. Uh, Stushwa over here. Stushwa, all right. You know what? When you see me. Just with Stushwa inside each other. I'll be offbeat, but hey girl, Stushwa, Stushwa, I'll let I'll lend you some face powder and such, you know? I have my Stushwa and kids' hair. My hair is long too, can somebody say something? Oh, that's why they were asking. They remember Tricky cutting my hair and it grows so fast. Yeah, it does. Okay. I mean, considering your hair is coily, it's yeah. not curly, it's coily. Like so it. the hair actually has to grow in the root like this before it pops the, the, the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so your hair is very long. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't show up as fast as mine because mine is straight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, somebody bought the Viviscal Gems of Hope. You bought the Viviscal Vitamins. Let me know how that's going. Let me know how that's going. I love it. I love it. I love the it. Viviscal, I love Viviscal. Tracy swears by the Viviscal. All right, guys. It. So that's it. Next week, Tuesday, um, we I am doing mommy duties. And the Tuesday after that, we will be on the road in Trinidad. And we will try and come to you live. From now, we apologize for anything, any feelings that may be hurt or anything that we say. You know, alcohol is a hell of a drug. Um, and we love drugs. We love drugs. <laughs> <laughs> we love this drug. We love alcohol. Clarify. Yeah. Clarify. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. And we will see you on Tuesday, the 27th, with a recap of Trinidad Carnival, a recap of Valentine's Day, and a recap of Levi's birthday party. That is a lot. So make sure you guys stay tuned on Tuesday, February 27th. Until then, we are going to have fun. We are going to frolic and we are going to do more foolishness. Woo! Woo! Bye, guys. See you on the 27th. Bye. Ramona, oh. parties. All right, Ramona, we got you. <laughs> We're bringing the parties. parties. Bye, guys. <laughs>